So today we're doing a quick, easy lunch idea that's just perfect for when you want to attend virtual events. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm attending more and more webinars, masterclasses, virtual events that can last all day or all evening, depending on what time zone they're on. For me, there's just nothing better than drinking ice cold water with ice I just feel it's such a treat and I always like to make sure that I've packed a lunchbox that it's safe in the fridge or even in a lunch bag with an ice pack ready for me so that whenever I'm hungry that I can then just grab the lunch and eat it and kind of try and make sure that I keep eating the healthier options and I don't just stuff down a whole load of sort of unhealthier options. So let's get straight to these ideas. These are just some of the tips, some of the tricks that I found super helpful for when I do attend events. Hi, there's the lunchbox lady here or lunchbox expert, or I've even be, been called the lunchbox pro. But anyway, huge big welcome. This is Lunchbox World. This is where we talk lunchboxes, pack lunchbox ideas, tips and tricks, and how to put the fun back into pack lunches. So the channel is full of inspiration, and I really hope that I'm going to inspire you as well. So today we're doing a quick, easy, lunch idea that's just perfect for when you want to attend virtual events. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm attending more and more webinars, masterclasses, um, virtual events that can last all day or all evening, depending on what time zone they're on. And I always like to make sure that I've packed a lunchbox that is safe in the fridge or even in a lunch bag with an ice pack ready for me so that whenever I'm hungry that I can then just grab the lunch and eat it and kind of try and make sure that I keep eating the healthier options and I don't just stuff down a whole load of sort of unhealthier options. So let's get straight to these ideas. These are just some of the tips, some of the tricks that I found super helpful for when I do attend events. So first up, hard-boiled eggs. Now, you know, these are just full of protein. I know not everyone can eat eggs, so just skip this if you've got any sort of food allergies to eggs. Um, but I always hard-boil eggs for 10 minutes. It just hard, hard boils them perfectly. So these are just from the fridge. I put them straight into boiling water that I've boiled up in the kettle and 10 minutes. And then I plunge them into cold water carefully roll them so that I can then break off all of the shell and then I keep them in the fridge. Now they can keep in the fridge for up to a week so if you have got a number of events that you're attending then it's just a really quick idea for just getting some quick protein. Now you can either keep them whole or I've got this amazing egg slicer and I try and have cress in the house and I really like to just lay them out on my Vita because I just like that extra crunch. So that's just a really quick idea. Sometimes I'll have that right at the start of the event with a nice hot cup of coffee and that just kind of fuels me up ready to go. Equally, you could easily sort of cook up some bacon and you know, have that at the ready. You can actually even buy prepped pre-prepped bacon so you could make up some bacon butties in advance and just have those at the ready. The other idea that I've done the last couple of events I've attended that have been all day long events is tuna mayonnaise. So I really like tuna mayonnaise and what I do with that is I always keep tins of tuna in the house. I go for the ones that are spring water and I'll drain off the water and then I'll just make it into tuna mayonnaise. So it's normally about a tablespoon or a little bit extra, depending on the size of your tin of tuna. But I just mash it up with a fork, add on, add in the mayonnaise, salt and pepper. If I've got capers in the house, then I will add a tablespoon of those, just drain off the juice. Or if I only have like gherkins or cornichon, which are the mini little gherkins, then I'll chop those up and then add those. But what I did the last virtual event that I attended was I actually made that in the morning. So it was all prepped and ready so that when we did have like a, sometimes they do give you like a two minute break or a bathroom break or a comfort break, whatever they want to call it. I'll then leg it downstairs, grab the bowl of um, tuna mayonnaise with the cling film on top that I've stored in the fridge. Then I love these Rivita, these sort of crisp bread biscuits that I'll then layer on the tuna mayonnaise 
and then take my plate back up so that I'm, I've literally missed two minutes. But this is another healthy option. I always keep fruit salads and things like that on the side that I can easily graze on. Sometimes I'll do some of the charcuterie lunchbox ideas, so I've linked to the playlist above so you can check that out. But I think the key thing here is kind of just not grabbing the unhealthy options trying to go for the healthier options, making sure that you have a jug, a jug of water or a carafe of water or a big bottle of water. Even keep ice in the freezer so that you can just pile that in at the start of the day. And then, I, for me, there's just nothing better than drinking ice cold water with ice. I just feel it's such a treat. And um, so that way you'll keep hydrated as well. So again, you know, as the day progresses, when you run down for a quick break, just make sure you refill the water, the carafe or the, the jug that you've got. And, you know, just look after yourself. And if you do need to take a break and you need to go for a walk, then it's really important that you just listen to your body. If you've got a kind of, if you, like me, you wear glasses and you just, you've got to get away from the screen a bit, then, you know, by all means, you know, just, step away you can always keep it with your earphones you know walk around with your laptop or whatever so you're still hearing it and you're not missing any of the event but you're kind of looking out for yourself if you need to take a break and go for a walk get some fresh air sometimes i do that as well i just feel i've just got to go and literally stand outside the back door take some deep breaths relax the shoulders and everything and just kind of feel present for the moment and then go back inside and feel revitalized again. So these are just some of the ideas. Now I will be bringing more to the channel. So let me know if you, if you find any of these ideas helpful. If you want more, comment below. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell all your friends. And because you've stayed watching to the end, don't forget to go and grab the freebie. It's over on lunchboxworld.co.uk. The link is in the description box below. I've tried to make it as visible as possible on the website so that you can just grab the freebie. It's a lunchbox checklist and also there's another one where it's giving you uh, some really quick and easy lunchbox ideas just to kind of help kickstart your lunch packing regime. So, but yeah, if you like this video, then I think you're gonna like these ones next. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye now.